really understand why people have relationships. I don't have one at the moment. I don't get it, you know? I tried it. Um, and I'm glad I tried it because now I've got two fantastic children, but it just didn't seem right to me. There was, there's something wrong with that whole relationship structure. It just seems to me that two people meet and they like each other, they have a connection and they have similar interests and they have uh, maybe a, a sexual attraction and all that kind of stuff. And that's brilliant. There's that early period of, oh, did, 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 did they feel the same about me? And, and then you get to know each other and you discover that, well, oh, there might be something in this. Uh, and, and it's titillating and wonderful and fabulous and exciting. You just have this amazing like for each other. So what do you do? What do you do at that point? You create this relationship that you fall into where suddenly there are all rules and guidelines and you can do this and you can't do that and there's jealousy and there's paranoia and then you spend, after, after discovering that you like lots of things about each other, you then, in the relationship, spend your time discovering what you don't like about each other and exploiting it and, and obsessing over it until a point where one of two things happens. Either the good the good uh, scenario is that you split up and never see each other again. The worst scenario is that having learned to hate each other, you stay together. Idiots! <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's, it's nonsense to me. It's always been nonsense to me. But everybody else dis seems to disagree with me. They think it's, you know, what we should have. We must have family. We must have another half. This whole thing of another half. You know, if, if you have another half, that means you're half a person. I don't want to be half a person. I'm a full person on my own. I don't need another half. I've got two halves, thank you very much. No part of it makes sense to me. But I can see the draw, you know, every now and then. Even because I've been single for five years now. And for good reason, you know, because I just don't fucking want it. I, I think a lot of people do it because they don't, they haven't thought it through. You know what I mean? They haven't thought it through like I have. They, they just do it because everybody else does it, because their parents did it and their friends do it. And they don't want to be alone. And they don't want to be, you know, just, just, just grow up. Look at the situation, see how mad it is, and fucking grow up. Come on. I don't mean no relationships at all. You know, have friends and that. Just don't have that one damning, intense, soul-destroying life fucking up two halves of one soul fucking bullshit relationship that everybody seems to gravitate towards. Am I the only one out there who sees this horrendous truth that we're all obsessed with the disease of romantic love? Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I know I sound like a real cynic now, but it just, it's not the love part. The love part's fine. And the romance part's fine. Let's just find a new way to express it. Just find a better way to structure it when when we come to loving another person. That's what I'm saying. I'm not I'm, I'm not dissing on love here, not at all. It's the relationship part. Somebody somewhere has invented this idea of a relationship and said, okay, that 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 piss everybody off, and we've all gone, oh, that's a brilliant idea. Let's let's do that. And nobody's kind of come along and said, actually, maybe we need to rethink this. Yeah. So the theme today basically is we why do we destroy the things that we love, whether it's art or people because it's never what we want i guess that's what it is when you love a tv show or a, or a movie franchise and then you see an episode or you see an episode that you that isn't going the way you want it to it's almost as if we believe that if we love something it must conform to what we love about them it must stay that way we must encapsulate it in that ideal of love and then when it deviates we hate it we hate it for deviating and it's the same with people. People change and grow all the time. I mean, essentially, we're all the same from birth to death, I reckon, essentially. But we do change and move and, and you know, we adapt. The, the great human power is that we adapt. You know, we create tools and we adapt to our environment and to each other um, so that we can move on, so that we, so that we can accept change. And then when we fall in love with something, we expect it to stay absolutely still. And when it doesn't, we fucking hate it. It's just madness. And I am, I, you know, it happens to me too. It's obviously it's happened to me. I'm wiser to it now or I'm corrupted by it, one or the other. In the five years I've been single, whenever I, I have been interested in someone, I've also been reluctant to pursue it. The interest is great. You know, that uh, those early stages, that, what they call the honeymoon period, right from the, the that spark of something that could be nothing, right up to the point where you start the relationship. That's all the good stuff. 
And the minute you sort of decide, right, we're a couple, from then on, it's all downhill. And then after that, it's just like, well, that's no good, that bit. But that's the bit that we're sort of got our eyes on. Well, that's marriage. And yet we, we seem to think that that's a good idea. What I like to do is prolong that early period. Because those, those, that's, that's the good bit. That's the great bit. It's just kind of getting to know each other, getting to find each other, discovering each other. See, I don't know. I don't know what the alternate, the alternate is. I just know that it seems very clear to me that the way that we handle romantic relationships is completely bonkers. It's completely bonkers. You know, it's like insane. It's not just, oh, it doesn't really work. No, it's insane. I just, I know people who have ended up in terrible relationships and they won't leave because they love them. And that's the problem. Love makes you prioritise that over everything else. People lose their lives. And I don't mean they die. I mean, they just lose their lives. And they, they, they sort of inherit this new life that's created by the relationship. And it's not theirs. In fact, it isn't, it, 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 it isn't mindfully created by anyone. It just sort of happens when two people get together. And because it just happens, it's chaotic. Because nobody's in control of it. And you end up with a life that neither of them wants, neither of them can control, neither of them can understand. But because they love each other, they, they, they put up with it. Oh, it's just, it makes me crazy. And I think, I seriously believe the reason it happens is because it's inculcated into us from a young age. My 11-year-old daughter has a boyfriend. What's different about her boyfriend from her other male friends, her other, her other friends? What, 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 what how, do, you know, they're not moving in together. They're not going out together, but they're emulating how the grown-ups behave by having another half. And so it's totally ground into us from, from birth to a point where when we become old enough to have relationships, it's what we think we want because it's what everybody else does. And I really think that's, that's all it is. It's tradition. <laughs> it's fucking tradition again. Tradition holding up... Progress. So just to sum up, just so people out there think I'm some raving madman, I'm not against love. I love love. I think love is fantastic and it's a fantastic feeling. And it's a wonderful way for people to be with each other. I just think the structures of relationships are fucked up. Okay, so, so that's what we need to work on. And until it's fixed, I don't want to have one, thanks. And I think that's, that's, that's born out of the fact that I have such a, a high... You know, my high, higher priority than love itself is freedom. Freedom of will, freedom of choice, freedom of future. Freedom to make stupid mistakes, like having relationships, but still having that freedom. And you lose freedom in a relationship, whether it's no matter how cool the relationship is, you do willingly lose a certain amount of freedom because you give it to the other person. And I've just, I kind of fall apart when that happens to me. Oh, my stomach. I'm going to have to get some food. I'm going to go get some food. Yeah. Maybe you should too. <laughs>